My name is Dan Tudge. I am the president of Enspace and the director of Soar Coast Legends. Okay, so uh, first of all, I, I can't express how fun this was. Um, it's obviously based around 5th edition. Uh, how, how closely did you guys work within the rules? Or, or was they, were they just a very uh, a light guideline as to how you were going to develop the, uh, the play for the game? Well, actually, we worked really closely with Wizards to ensure that we were a faithful adaptation of 5th uh, of edition. We actually were working with the 5th edition rules long before they were even published. So, uh, you know, there are some things that, you know, we need to be adapted to get into the video game world, but we tried to stay pretty true to what 5th uh, edition was. Thank you. And uh, there's, there's been a lot of developments in the storyline of, of Forgotten Realms and through the Wizards of the Coast. Uh, Ed Greenwood, Ari Salvador, all of those uh, uh, authors have been really sort of turning the world upside down and sort of bringing it back to where they wanted it to be. How closely did you guys get to work from that information? Was there, was there any sort of crossover there? Yeah, absolutely. We worked with the IP very early on um, to make sure with, with Wizards that that IP was, was woven together. I mean, we're not we're not, we don't want to actually duplicate what's done in other mediums, what's done on the tabletop and what's done in the books, uh, but we want to make sure it's woven together and it all folds together nicely, and so we've ensured that happens to make sure that uh, it is all cohesive within the universe. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see, uh, as, as a dungeon master, I, I was really impressed to see the amount of creativity and things like that that you can get into. Um, but for for city building and things like that, have you guys done any pre-generated like like large cities that we would know? Uh, you mentioned Luskin, uh, Waterdeep, Neverwinter. Are any of those things going to be pre-generated and available for us to edit? So right now we're, uh, we're generating everything for the Dungeon Master is generated out of our uh, single uh, story campaign. So it's 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 important for us to make sure every prop, everything gets into Dungeon uh, Dungeon Master mode so players can use that content. Uh, right now our story is focused on Luskin. There's a few really other uh, really cool areas. Areas that involve the Underdark and, and areas like that that we're also including. Um, and as we build more content, all of that will become available. We have some, um, some villages and things like that as well too. Uh, and players can use our, um, our city sets to recreate an adventure in, uh, in Baldur's Gate or Neverwinter. Yeah, can you, with, with the classes in the game, D&D has always had a fairly broad uh, class selection. Uh, what sort of classes are you guys going to start with? Will there be class additions later on? Can you multi-class? Is there anything else you can tell me about that? Yeah, we're starting with, the, with six core classes, um, and, and uh, there's, there's a lot more classes that we want to add. But we're a small, focused team, so we want to make sure that we delivered uh, a quality experience, uh, and then we plan to add the rest later. So you've, certainly you've got Fighter, you've got Rogue, you've got Elf, or excuse me, um, Paladin, uh, Cleric, um, Ranger, I'm not sure if I'm missing any. It's the end of the show. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, I've, I've heard mention of, of maybe a console transfer over. Is there any word on that? Anything you can tell me? If so, a release date, anything like that? Sure. Well, we're on PC, Mac, and Linux, and we're, we're supporting the cross-play across those platforms so you can play with those players. And we are also allowing you, uh, when you purchase on Steam, you can actually download either any version. Uh, so if you have a Mac you play on in one location and a PC you play in another, you can download both versions. Um, and uh, that's coming out September 8th, um, and on uh, console, we're on Xbox One and PS4 later in the year, and that's, uh, that's all we're going to say about that date. <laughs> all right, fair enough, fair enough. Where can people find more information about uh, this new game as it's coming out? Certainly, you can go to swordcoastlegends.com uh, or swordcoast.com, and uh, there's lots of information on there, and join our community and start uh, contributing.